I told you that one year and a couple of months ago in, in, last, in, in the Sukkot before the last one, in the night of Avraham Avinu, in the first night of Sukkot, I was lying in, in the Sukkah and bad thoughts of fears started attacking me again and again and again. And I didn't know what to do with myself because I wanted to escape, run away from my mind. I didn't want it to, there was no enemy, there was no one there, there was, it was only my thoughts. And I realized if I'm going to sit and talk to my wife about it, I can kill her with my thoughts. Mm -hmm. I, can, I can destroy her. Just sharing my feelings, will, it, it can destroy her for sure. It's, it, it, that's not the right way. My children cannot, not, don't have the ability to hear. My students, for sure, too weak. So what I'm going to do? But my kids, at least they love me. So with my kids, I can talk. But the students, they're only weak. They love me, you say? Like you're afraid of Hashem, maybe. <laughs> Yesterday, I had a chidush. One of my students helped me with this chidush. There is a word that calls Talmid, a student. And there is a word that says Tamid, always. So, how can the Talmid, the student, can be a student forever? Can be Tamid, Talmid? How can it be Tamid, Talmid? What's the difference between Tamid and Talmid, always and a student? The letter Lamed. Lamed. That's the difference between Tamid, always, to Talmid, is Lamed. So that the Talmid will be a student, always, he needs to have a Lamed. What's a Lamed? Lamed, it's like Lomed, learning. So if the student wants to be a student forever, he needs to learn forever. He needs to have that Lamed, to have that will to learn from his rabbi, always. Only then he can be a student forever, always. You want to be a student, and it's not only when it's comfortable for you to learn from him. You need to learn from him always, 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 always to learn from him, always. To want to learn from him, always. That's the only way that you can be his student forever. If you're ready to learn from him, always. Even when he tells you on right that it's left, on left that it's right, also when he's smiling to you, also when he's rebuking you, also when he's hugging you, also when he's rejecting you. Only when you're ready to learn from him always what that he wants to teach you, not that, that you want to learn. No, I want to learn from you, Gemara. Okay, so it's not always. So I was lying like that in the sukkah and I was just terrified. Just horrible thoughts came to me. I was worried about this and about that. Many, many foreign thoughts. Many, many, many thoughts. And I realized I don't have no way to run away from my thoughts. I, I'm going to have to to deal with them. And 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 it gave me a lot of power because I saw that after that, I was looking into the fear itself. I said to my fears, "Okay, let's say that the worst will happen." And now what? what? What what can he do to me? Okay. So that person will scream at you. And then what? So your husband, your wife, they will not going to be satisfied from you. And they're going to tell you. And then what? You can apologize. You can deal with it. But you're afraid. So because you're afraid to deal with it, so you always live your life in deny. <coughs> and you argue. And you rebuke, and you fight, and you're insulting, and you're hurting, and you're defending yourself just because you're afraid to deal with re rejection, to deal with authorities, to deal with, 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 
with pain, with the fact that you don't have confidence in Hashem. Why are you afraid? Let's say now you're afraid to receive a ticket, a fine from, from a police officer or to pay some bills. You're afraid from the bills. Why are you afraid? What's the problem? You have money, you pay. You don't have money, you don't pay. Now, you didn't pay, you will sit in darkness. Are you afraid of the darkness? That's the reason you're afraid? No. You can turn off the light now in the middle of the day and to play, to act like you don't have electricity in your house and it can be a nice game. All of the family will turn off the light now, not using the... It can be fun. Nothing. Well, you, you make a bonfire outside on the porch. Okay, it's not a problem. It's not a, that's not what you're afraid of. You're not afraid of being stuck without gas or being stuck without electricity. What are you afraid of? You're afraid of your wife start being sad. Oh, really? That's what you're afraid? You're afraid that your wife will be sad. Oh, you really so you care about your wife. That's why you are afraid? No. Because you can upset your wife and you can make your wife sorry and she can cry for hours and you won't care. So it's not really her sorrow. So what is it? Let's think deeper, one step deeper. You're afraid of her standing and blaming you on the fact that you're not bringing money. And then, so it's that she's going to scream at you? It's not that also. Because on other topics, you don't mind. She can scream and you don't care and you won't care. And she can scream and explode or break her head to the walls and you won't listen. It's not it. So what is you're afraid to deal with the fact that you yourself really not sure that you're able to bring the Parnasa, that you really don't have that confidence that you claim to have to bring money from Hashem. You're not so sure that the love of Hashem Yidbarach will bring the money to your hands. You're afraid to deal with the fact that you're not able to supply the money. So for that, you're afraid of the bills, you're afraid of the government, you're afraid of all of the companies, you're afraid, and now you go to work, and then you're afraid of your boss. The reason that you're afraid of your boss and your colleagues, and this is why you wake up, and this is why you scream at your children, and the, every morning is a nightmare, and you're fighting with everyone, and you hate everyone, and you curse everyone, and every driver is a dog, and, and whatever. Why? Because you don't have confidence that God is supplying the panasah.